In this video, I'll show you how to make a three-dimensional foldable robotic gripper from a printed two-dimensional template. You can find a link to download the template, along with instructions to use this for a classroom lesson plan or individual science project linked in the description of this video. Start by printing the template on cardstock since it's stiffer than regular printer paper. Each page contains parts for two grippers. Then, cut the parts out along the solid lines. Also cut out the tendons or the separate long rectangular strips. You will pull on these to make the gripper close. Next you will need to cut out the slots for the tendons and there are a couple different ways to do this. You can use something pointy like a sharp pencil or a push pin to poke holes to get the cut started and then carefully use scissors to cut out along the solid line, but you want to be careful not to bend or kink the template too much when you're doing this since that can mess up the final 3D assembly of the gripper. So if you take this approach, do it very carefully and try to keep the paper as flat as possible. Alternatively, if you have a hobby knife available, you can use that to carefully trace the lines and cut through the paper. Make sure you use something as a backing or cutting mat if you do this so you don't cut the table or work surface. Once you're done with all the cutting, Fold and crease along all the dashed lines, then fold the paper flat again. Now you're ready to thread the tendons through the slots. Flip the paper over and push a tendon through one of the center slots from the back, then pull it through and feed it through one of the outer slots from the front. Then repeat this on the other side. Push the tendon through the slot from the back, pull it through, and then push it through the other slot from the front. Later on, we'll glue the tendons in place to the back of the gripper. Now you're ready to start gluing, which you can do simply using school glue or a glue stick. Apply a thin strip of glue along one of the tabs. These are labeled with a T on the front side of the template. You then fold it over to glue it to the foldable flap on the opposite side, forming a triangle shape for one of the fingers of the gripper. You can hold this in place until the glue dries, or if you have some reverse action tweezers available, they are very convenient to simply grab and pinch the paper and then you can let go until the glue is dry. You can repeat this process on the other side to form the other finger of the gripper, which again has a triangular cross section, and then fold and glue the center of the gripper, which has a rectangular cross section, not a triangle, so each of the parts should fold up to a 90 degree angle when you assemble the center. Once all of that glue has dried and your gripper will hold its shape, you want to flip it over and glue the short parts of the tendons that are sticking through to the back of the gripper. Make sure you hold these in place until the glue is dry completely so you can pull on the tendons and they will not come loose. Once the glue on the tendons is dry, you are ready to test your gripper. Fold the fingers up 90 degrees, but don't glue them in place. You just want to crease the fold line. Then, if you hold the gripper at the center and pull on the tendons, you can make the fingers close. When you release tension on the tendons, the fingers should open again. You can now try using your gripper to pick up various objects. For an engineering project, you can try modifying your gripper to improve its grip. For example, here I've added rubber bands to give it more friction. You can also try modifying the geometry of the gripper itself. This requires careful planning, since any changes to the dimensions of the two-dimensional template will affect how it folds and the resulting three-dimensional design. If you check out the video description, you can also find design files for a more advanced gripper that keeps the finger surfaces parallel to each other as they move. This could be more useful for gripping flat or rectangular objects. For written instructions for this project and over a thousand other hands-on science and engineering projects, visit our website www.sciencebuddies.org.